Do you ever feel like crying? Has it happened that you've just given up? <laughs> hmm. Have you broken down? Have you been brought down by life? Has everything collapsed? Have certain things failed? Have your wishes, dreams, hopes, desires been completely shattered? Well, if yes, maybe you are in Saturn Dasha or Sarasati. Antar Dasha, Mahadasha, doesn't matter. Have you hit rock bottom completely someday? If not today, then yesterday or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so, if you are running Saturn Dasha or you will run Saturn Dasha, then you must know these 10 golden secrets. There are thousand secrets. I can go on and on speaking how to make the best use of your Saturn Dasha. But let's discuss 10 today. And please write down in the comments, apart from these 10, what all have you seen happening in Saturn Dasha? And among these 10, which one have you faced in Saturn Dasha? All right. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like this video, which I am sure you will do. <laughs> Number one, you feel like crying. Why is there so much silence here? <laughs> you feel like giving up. You have collapsed. You have tried so many things. You have tried everything. But still, nothing works. Yes, it's very daunting. It has happened with almost everybody. There's no exception. Nobody is an exception to this rule. So it can happen. When Saturn Dasha is there, you are trying, 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 and then <laughs> but what's important is to understand that it's okay if if you are feeling very overwhelmed and if you want to cry and there's nothing else you can do, then it's okay. But what is not okay is it is that you keep trying and you, you just keep trying and you do nothing. Okay, that, that is something which is not not very okay. <clears throat> so this is the most important thing. You have to realize that you might break down because Saturn is the worst of all the malefics. When Saturn Dasha is giving you misery, your past life karma is opening up and you can't do anything about it. No remedy will work. Number two. <laughs> this is very funny actually. You may be tempted to speak lies because... See, when you, when you are speaking lies, what does it mean? You are trying to take the easy way up. So therefore, during Saturn Dasha, please be aware that you might be, you might come into a situation, you might face a situation where the only thing that you can do to safeguard yourself is to speak a lie. But that's that's the predicament. If you speak the lie, you will get more bad karma, and if you don't speak the lie, you will get humiliation. So which one do you choose? <laughs> So it's up to you. If you want to speak the, if you want to speak a lie, you can speak, but you will get the repercussion later with interest, along with that same karma because of which you are facing this now. So it is not recommended that you take the easy way out and speak lies. Okay, so better to face humiliation, better to face insult than to lie. Of course, if you are lying for some you know, good reason, that's different. Okay. <clears throat> oh, suppose some you need to save somebody's life and you are speaking a lie, and that, that's fine, unless that person is a crooked terrorist. But in general, I hope you understand what I mean. All right. Number three, this is classic Saturn, typical. It's gonna be tough and rough. <laughs> People say rough and tough. 
but Saturn Dasha can be tough and rough, okay? Which means it's not easy. You have to work hard. Hard work is not, see, there's a lot of discussion on hard work, smart work. And it's fine. <laughs> you can discuss it, but you can debate which is more important. But always remember, even if you are the smartest person in the room, in Saturn Dasha, you have to work hard. You have to grind. You have to crush yourself. Otherwise, there is no result. Or maybe there are results, but exactly the other way around. So, very, 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 very important. Okay, so hard work is non-negotiable. It's tough and rough. Those people who always said yes to you will say no to you when Saturn Dasha is there. <laughs> That's what Saturn is. You like it or you don't. <laughs> All right. Number four, delays, disappointments and setbacks. This could be possible if your Saturn is situated or lording the Dustana house. So if Saturn is your sixth lord, eighth lord or twelfth lord or in your Bhava Chalit chart is sitting in one of the Dustanas, then there could be delays, disappointments and setbacks and you need to be prepared for it. So, very important, if you are about to get, sat, if, if your Saturn Mahadasha is about to start in a year or, you know, two, three, four, five years, start preparing for, preparing an emergency fund for you. You may be fired from your job without any notice, all right? If, as I said, Saturn is related to Dustana houses, or there could be some accident or, you know, some health emergency, anything can happen in Saturn Dasha. So have an emergency fund if you are if you are laid off from your job at least have that much money that you can survive for six months to one year because you may not find another job also right I know it's very daunting but it's brutal Saturn you can do nothing about it okay number five you will be forced to do things that you don't like. You will be forced to do things you absolutely despise. You will be forced to do things and to do things with people you despise. <laughs> it's not just things, you know. Anybody can do things they don't like. But doing things that you hate with the people that you hate. Ah. <laughs> So it's like compound interest, okay? Do things that you hate and with the people that you hate and on the mercy of the people that you hate. It's like Duryodhana's situation. Duryodhana, when he uh, molested and sexually abused the... What was her name? That uh, she was a Yaksha, I think. No, not Yaksha. Gandharva, yes. That there was a Gandharva lady who was very beautiful and then Duryodhan, oh yes, if you don't know Duryodhan and I am talking about Duryodhan from the Mahabharata for the Western audience. So Duryodhan and company's chief executive officer, CEO, DNC, <laughs> all the crooks together in the company. What happened? He saw this lady, oh, she's very charming and then he went and said to her, oh, why are you roaming here, you know? You should be, uh, you should be my wife. You know, how about coming to my, uh, coming to my tent tonight? <laughs> and then what happened? He was captured, right? And then Arjun and Bhim had to go and free him. Okay. So what happened? He had to, he had to take mercy of his life from his worst opponents. Of course, the Pandavas were very virtuous, but he used to consider them as enemies. Okay, this is a classic example of that. But why did it happen? Because of his own blunder, right? Number six, Saturn will force you to have a reality check on all areas of your life. People say, oh, my Saturn is in 10th house. Why am I getting divorced? Because Saturn is also giving you a reality check about your marriage. So, in Saturn Dasha, what happens? 
see you have to understand you know if if there is you know like if you take a mango seed you put it down the ground and you, you know water it there is sunlight then what happens mango tree comes out if you put a if you if you do this with another you know karela karela seed what will happen bitter gourd mangoes will not come out right so what happens everybody is a seed everybody is a seed everybody has a seed inside the seed is the mind basically so when saturn dasha comes you are buried deep inside the ground and then the seed pops out the seed comes out the germination is there so what happens whatever is inside of you that will come out you will be exposed because that's how saturn is he exposes people and things okay number 7 saturn will expose your planning and organizational skills so during saturn dasha suppose you are a student you are you know going to college school you are doing this that you know you have some subjects here there and in spite of doing all this you know you are not kind of having any schedule structure planning you know you're just like hovering around just doing things you know like two hours netflix you know three hours reels and if that is who you are you will be you will be you will be crushed what is that word you'll be decimated <laughs> Uh, what decapacitated, decimated, whatever you can have, you use all those, you know, <laughs> fancy English words, you know, what was that? You, you, you will be your, your life will not work at all if you do not have structure and organizational skills. Now, of course, you don't have to, you know manage 1000 people you don't have to become ceo but you have to be the leader of your own life so please make time blockers okay a lot specific activities for a time slot and then follow it please organize your time when you say i am organizing my life it just means you are organizing your time that is all at a grass level and then there is vision and there is you know outlook towards life there is yeah, there are so many things, but this is bare minimum. Number eight, there will be no change if you do not take radical action. So if you just keep sitting and doing nothing, expecting that something will happen, you know, somebody will magically come out and, you know, help me, help him, help her, help my company, help my marriage. Somebody will do this, that, you know, some magic wand will come. Jadu ki chadi chal jayegi or whatever you, you think like that, then you you are in a dreamland basically. And Saturn loves to smash people who are in their who are in dreamland, in dreamlands. You may have one or two or a dozen dreamlands. Twelve houses, twelve dreamlands. Every house you may have a dreamland. Now, Lagna, oh, I look very nice. I am very good person. My thoughts are very good. Saturn comes and smashes. You, you idiot. This is what you think and that is why you are suffering. Saturn comes and tells you. Second house, money. I'll save money. I'll do this. You idiot. You can't save money. That's what Saturn comes and tells. <laughs> Oof. So you must take action. You cannot be in the dreamland. You have to take action. Measurable steps. Okay. Number nine. You, you will be forced to stand up for yourself. You might have to become a one-man army. You might. Which means everybody else may leave you. <laughs> you may have nobody around you. You may be all by yourself. That's that best friend who never denied you for anything may say no this time. Yes, sir. Yes, madam. It can happen. It has happened. And it will happen. <laughs> it has, it can, and it will. <laughs> Did I miss something? 
नंबर टेन नो शॉर्टकट्स विल वर्क शॉर्टकट्स विल नॉट विल नॉट वर्क विच मीन्स यू कैन नॉट अचीव एनीथिंग इन सेट ऑन दशा विदाउट कंसिस्टेंसी एंड डिसिप्लिन दैट्स द कंक्लूजन ओके सो इफ यू हैव सेट ऑन दशा एंड समहाउ यू आर थिंकिंग ओ मे बी यू नो हो जाएगा फोन कर देंगे आई कॉल दिस पर्सन इट विल बी डन नो इट वोट बी डन यू हैव टू डू इट योर सेल्फ all right so number 1 you may feel like crying and that's okay number 2 you may be tempted to speak lies don't number 3 it's going to be tough and rough all right <laughs> work hard always non negotiable number 4 there could be delays if saturn is related to dusthana houses number 5 you might be forced to do things with people that you absolutely hate okay Number six gives you a reality check on every area of your life. Number seven exposes your planning and organizational skills. How do you do your time management? <clears throat> Number eight, no change if you do not take radical action. So take radical action. And number nine, you might be left all alone. And number ten, no shortcuts will work here. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. <laughs> Saturn patience, man. You need to have patience. Long videos, you must watch. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, thank you if you made it so far, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want a consultation uh from me regarding your saturn then don't go to my website just work hard first and even if you're still confused you can go to my website to book a reading but work hard first all right thank you so much please take care jai siya ram